Good evening. Okay, we're working. Another late night broadcast. Uh, knocking them out um, when I can get time. <laughs> it's been a very busy weekend. Um, but I want to do a quick broadcast because, frankly, um, this conversation came up today with a couple of friends I was talking to at this event I met. And before I get to that, let me introduce myself. I'm sorry, I'm jumping out of myself. Hi, thanks for joining me in my, my daily uh, broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I've been strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And this is my daily broadcast called Messages of the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And it's number 325. I'm still sort of getting used to these numbers. It gets it kind of strange. And the topic today basically is... Um, The cure, well, basically, it's the cure for heartbreak, it's basically, or the, the ways of healing heartbreak. There are good ways, and there are bad ways. So I'll say that way. So basically, the, the talk today is some suggestions on how you may or may not have chosen to um, deal with your heartbreak. So let me start talking about the ways that aren't the most recommended. In fact, I would say they're the most... Um, that's what I was looking for. There's a word I used in the cycle I didn't actually choose to use. They're most um, failure-based ways of doing things. So let me start with that. The first less than ideal way of um, getting over heartbreak is to pretend it didn't happen. As simple as it sounds, like people go, I don't do that. It's like, oh, don't you? Have you spent any time where after a relationship ended that you basically decided to numb it out and pretend nothing had happened? And in fact, went on to your next relationship and said nothing had happened either. In fact, that's number two, which is, have you found your way to, cure, have you thought the way to handle your heartbreak was to get into a new relationship? Because that's another way people do. In fact, that's the most, probably the most, I mean, I've done, not done research on this, so I don't know if numbers on this, but I suspect that's probably the most prevalent way that people tend to get over heartbreak. It's find someone else to love and presume that they will help you heal from your past relationship. First of all, how unfair of you to dump on your new partner your upset and hurt feelings about your last relationship. It's not, it's not their job to save you. Key thing is, it's your job, but I'm jumping ahead of myself. Another way people tend to, um, I would say subliminate, but actually, I mean more of the way they numb out their relationship issues and challenges from the past with their heartbreak is to basically, um, well, tend to drink <laughs> or some other form of medication to numb out the pain, ignore it, hide it, pretend it didn't happen. And this, like the other two, is a less than effective way of healing your heartbreak. So what it does is suppress it. It doesn't actually remove it. And it's the thing about all three of these options I'm talking about. None of them actually heal the heartbreak. They just um, numb it out, pretend it wasn't there, hide it, suppress it, um, diminish its appearance, but not diminish its impact. So if you're someone who's dealing with heartbreak, here's a solution that might actually help you get where you want to go. Because the really thing about heartbreak is that it is something that can be very debilitating. No argument. However the way to heal it isn't necessarily just to cover it up and pretend nothing happened, which is what people do. The reality is when you do that, if you do that enough times, what you've done is you've created this um, well, let's put it this way. If you're someone who has not done the work I'm going to suggest in a moment about your heartbreak, you're basically going to build a shell around your heart. You're going to take a protective layer like a cocoon in a way around your heartbreak because you don't want to deal with it. You suppress it, you numb it out, you do something else instead. The problem is when you do that four or five times, you've got these layers and layers and layers and layers of protection around your heart, which sounds protective, but it means you can't love that well. The thing is, you may have noticed this, but if you've, say, suppressed your heartbreak for five new relationships and you kept going to relationship, 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 etc., what you've done is you become less able to love each time as you go through. So the fifth time you've done this, you have a lot less love to give than you did in the first time. And ultimately, if you keep doing this, you have no ability to love because you're so suppressed and so protected, you can't love, let love out or let love in. And frankly, if you're someone looking for real love, this is not the way to do it. So there is a solution. We can get into that in a moment. 
So I just want you to think about this for a second for yourself and to um, consider for yourself where maybe you didn't necessarily take the time to heal from your past heartbreak. In fact, you chose to pretend it didn't happen, suppress it, numb it out, do something else, and then fall in love with somebody, some new person and make it all okay. And then at the end of that relationship, you've now got double the whammy, double the issue, double the, no, not the fun, but double the pain to go through. So I think you get my point that I'm not recommending that as a path to healing, wholeness, or success in love. What I am suggesting is this. Choosing, key word, choosing after a heartbreak, after a bad breakup, to stay single, first, to be honest with yourself, second, and to do the work, get the help, seek guidance, whatever that is, to heal, release, and free up that pain and heartbreak that's inside once and for all so you can be whole again. Well, not that you're never whole, but in terms of you'll feel whole again. That's pretty more accurate. Then, if you choose in a relationship, first of all, you're not putting your agenda on that person. Thank God for them. Secondly, you're about to love them more fully because you're not protected and holding yourself back. And thirdly, you actually better choose a relationship from a much healthier place. Those are three good ideas, I suggest. And you might want to consider those for yourself. So what is this work that I'm recommending? If you're doing it yourself, which you can do, it can take some time, but some effort. But the main components of doing the work to really help yourself heal from past heartbreak involves a few things, including grief recovery, rebuilding self-respect, self-love, and self-appreciation, self-forgiveness, yes, yeah, self-forgiveness is part of the package, making peace with your past, that's four, and I think there's another one in there as well. Basically, these are all components that you do on your own, or with help, like with a coach, or somebody who can help you, counselor, therapist, whatever that is, that helps you basically see through the lens of clarity and through the, in a way, the lens of object, objectivity, so you can see what's really going on and you can be free. Because if you do these things, which are not challenging, well, no, that's, that's true, some people it's very challenging. They're not necessarily hard, but they are sometimes challenging. But if you do these things to actually heal in past relationships, heal, the, heal from your past hurt and pain and, what, and, and um, heartbreak, then you can be whole once again. And the reality is, when you are whole, you're one, happily being single, and second, you choose a relationship, you come from a much healthier place because you're whole. And if you know, if you watch my talks before, I've done 324 of these before this, being whole, being healthy and loving yourself is the first step, well, one of the first steps, to actually attracting healthy relationship. You get my point? I think you get it. As simple as it sounds, recovering from heartbreak isn't something to be taken lightly. In fact, for me, it's a sacred act to help my clients heal their wounds, to learn to love themselves again, and to make peace with what happened. It's my sacred service, my sacred duty, my sacred responsibility with my clients. So I know what it feels like. I mean, I've been through it myself, so I do know what it feels like, literally. But also, I know what it feels like for my clients. So I'm saying this to you as, a, as an invitation for you to take care of yourself and to actually be whole, healthy, and self-supportive as a single person. So after your breakup, don't dive into another relationship, please. Take the time to really look in the mirror and see yourself as you really are. Not the wounds, but the wholeness. Start loving yourself through that path and start making real progress to loving, healing, and repairing the damage you've had inside. If this is something you're stuck with and you're dealing with, this is part of my work. So I'm going to offer to you this, this invitation as my gift to you. I've been calling it a complimentary clarity conversation because it sounds cute. But Wasted Wasted Discovery Session is a gift from me to you. It's a free gift from me to you. A 30 minute conversation where we can have a chat where I can listen and help you take some next steps in your life where you might be able to reach out for help and where there can actually be some resolution for what you're dealing with so you can go forward in what you want. To get that free gift, you go to my website, which is barryselvey.com, my name, and click on Let's Chat, which is in the navigation bar. That will lead you to a place where you can sign up for a discovery session, my gift to you. Again, complimentary clarity conversation, 
and we get you, get you on the path to where you want to go. You can do this on your own, as I said, but I do recommend you take the action steps to get the support, and if you get it with someone who knows what they're doing, I do have some skills, you'll get there faster and more wholeheartedly and from a place of insight and true health. I think that covers it. Yes. If you haven't watched my broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day. This is number 325 in a long series of talks about love and relationships, masculine, feminine, polarity, and purpose work. If you want to find out more about broadcast, you can find all of those on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.com. Sorry, barryselby.author. As well as on my YouTube channel, because these will end up over there, which is Barry Selby is the YouTube channel and Message for the Masculine is the playlist. And also my website, as I mentioned, barryselby.com. You can find them on my uh, video blog page. Again, if you're looking for help, please go to get, grab my free gift to you. The video is... Oops, I think I just lost myself. Okay, I'm okay. Whew. I guess the internet's kind of weak here. You got the message, you got the information. My homework to you, my advice to you, is if you're feeling wounds in your heart from, from past relationships, start loving yourself. Do that first. If you want help, reach out to me. It's what I'm here for. If you know anyone should watch this, please share it with them. And if you want to find my broadcast, you know where to find them. Take care of yourself, please. I'll be back in tomorrow, number 326. Maybe earlier for a change. The last three days I've been in this, this um, conscious business gathering, so it's been a very intense weekend. Finally getting a chance to relax. In fact, I am relaxing. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't have seen that. But take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.